took Ayana Koji about two seasons to lay down the framework so that we could unite all of Class 1D so that these idiots won't stop shooting them in the foot and we can go forward. And within the span of one episode, not even one episode actually, because about 90% of the episode was just a Valentine shit. The last three minutes of the episode, the Black Room graduate Yamagod dismantles the entire framework, the entire unification of our class. What is he doing? What is he fucking doing? So here's my guess, right? Here is my guess. We know that Arisu took Yamagod out, and I thought that, oh shit, did Arisu actually take that grudge from the, you know, the episode one where he tripped her? I'm not really sure, but I thought that it makes sense that Arisu kind of made Yamagod spread these rumors because that's how Arisu seems to operate, spreading rumors. But actually, I was tunnel vision. And in fact, I took a couple steps back and I read some of the comments and I remember Kushida also does the same shit. She destroyed an entire class with just rumors, right? But then other people are like, bro, you're not going to be able to guess who did this shit. Ain't no fucking way you're going to be able to guess this. So you know what? Here is my guess. It was... I don't know. I don't think it's Ayana Koji. I, in season one, there was a lot of times where Ayana Koji kind of did some self-sabotaging shit. Maybe in season two too. But that was to learn a lesson. We're not really at that period. Was it Chabashira? Did Chabashira get tired of these fucking kids? Is, is she fucking us up? I don't really know. Let's begin today's reaction though. Oh. Quote of the day. Fortune favors the bold. Yamagod is being very bold right now. Ain't no way Hondo did that. Y'all are capping. What if Hondo is the fucking White Room spy sent by Anakoji's dad? <laughs> well, Hondo... And, and think about it. If you want to be, you know, doing this shit but appear innocent, then you should put yourself as one of the targets in the rumors. So Hondo liking fat girls, right? I don't know. Maybe Hondo did... Uh, nah, there's, there's no way. Hondo didn't do that. Maybe he's a White Room agent, though. You never know. <laughs> class, class... Sorry, 1D now. <laughs> D class and A class? <laughs> Albert just immediately just puts the fucking hands up. Family. <laughs> Yo! Fi oh, fuck. Finally! There's that guy, dude! This guy! He hasn't shown up yet. So far, all we know from A-Class is Baldi, Katsuragi, and Hashimoto. But we do know that there's a long-haired dude, right? With the gloves, right? Him versus Albert. Who wins? Him versus Albert, who wins? He's getting ready to scrap too, dude. No, we're family, guys. We're family, remember? Yo, I just realized something. The credits are rolling already. Yo, is there no opening this episode? Are we skipping the opening? Do you know what it means when you skip an opening of an anime episode? It's gonna be the episode. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shut up, Sakura. No one likes you. Did he just say that to everybody out loud? Did Hashimoto just say, Hey, I'm the only witness to your secret, by the way. <laughs> Get fucked, Sakura. Get fucked, Sakura, but why, why, why does she care? Why does Haruka care? You know, why do, do I hate Sakura that much? I don't. I, it's just a running, it's just a running gag in this channel. I, I shit on Sakura because... Her existence doesn't matter right now. And I, I hear all the time, yes, Sakura's gonna get development. She is important. But she existed for the sake of being the owner of the camera, which at the end of the day didn't even fucking matter. Then she got reduced to this fucking simp who just simps for Anokoji. I love Sakura. You know why I shit on her? Because I know she deserves better. But because the author has reduced, or at least the anime directors have reduced this character to the state, I shit on her. Because... I expect better things from her, okay? Man, without Ryun, it just doesn't feel the same! Alright. <laughs> Albert, say something! <laughs> I wanted Al- Okay, I hear, I hear you guys. I'll do a little voice acting for you, okay? Just imagine this is what Albert's about to say. He's gonna be about to give you a one-liner, okay? Ready? You got lucky. I, that's what I wish he would say. Just a fucking blank stare into Koji. The light novel probably has a monologue happening. But how the fuck are we supposed to know what he's thinking right now? Soul zoom. Who's she talking to? Oh, beer shoplifter. Hmm? What are we doing? What about 50s? Bro scoring 90s? 
<laughs> 76. Hey, that's better than Sudo, right? Since Sakura got 80 something. <laughs> Ichinose is getting jumped! Ichinose is getting jumped! K, but black hair? K, but black hair. <laughs> and on the right, I believe that's the girl that got rejected by, uh, what's her name? It's no in season one, right? That's, that's the girl that, uh, we were supposed to fake being a boyfriend for, right? Okay, who's outside too? I don't really know these two. I think I remember these two dudes. Okay, but anyways, class B is getting jumped by class A. She even sounds like K. Cap. Cap. Save them from who? From Ichinose? I've been saying this all entire time. Just fucking make the rumor that Ichinose is actually running a Ponzi scheme, a pyramid crypto scheme. Bitconnect! You know? Give me all your money! I'm gonna grow it, but you can't have your points back. Because I need all your points to keep growing that fucking money. And it's a fucking rug pull. She's gonna use all those points and just fucking dip out of this class to go to Anakoji. But let's see what Aris has got cooking up. Okay. Yo, Ichinose's fanboy is actually talking a lot now. <laughs> what accusation? What is it? Is she actually doing a crypto rug pull? Cap! Cap! <laughs> These rumors are so funny to me because, again, in a high school setting, the, the, the utmost, like, upper echelon of, like, the, 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 what a rumor could be is, like, oh, she slept with another guy while going with a different guy, you know? Like, stuff like that, right? But one of the rumors a couple episodes ago is straight up, Ichinose is a fucking convict. She's a criminal. <laughs> Tax evasion, what's going on? What should be doing with them points, man? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Everyone, I scammed you. No way. No way. No. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. The clouds are hiding the sun, man. Uh oh. <laughs> what did she do? Did she kill somebody? <laughs> she jaywalked? She shoplifted beer? What did she do? Okay, four years ago, backstory. Aww. Little Ichinose. Omuraisu. Mm, Mama Ichinose. Mm. <sighs> this is gonna be a tearjerker fucking flashback, isn't it? Okay. She got rank one. <gasps> oh, oh, did you see that? Did you see how she cool she was trying to play it off? And she's like, oh, oh, oh dude, someone's gotta make a fucking gift gif for that, dude. This is so good. And then what though? What happened? Mom is sick somehow. Anime cancer happened. Mom was in the hospital. The only way to save mom is to go to the school, get a lot of private points, use points for a doctor, save mom. Hmm? 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 Am I, am I cooking or, or what? Okay, she's sick. Wah, <laughs> wah. That's so sad, man. This kind of fucking flashbacks are so fucking sad. Who, I? Potion no I? Blood is on your hands, little Ichinose sister. Your mom died because of you! Oh, man. This, like, poor upbringings. Parents, like, hiding the fact that, you know... They're poor, but they're trying their best, and they try to, like, you know, hide their weakness, and make sure they put up a strong front so the kids don't know. This shit like this, that's a tearjerker backstory, dude. It's so sad. <sighs> what? Scam your students? Fuck buying it. Let's just steal it. Hmm? Nah, fuck it, just steal it! 
Who cares? Just do it. General uh, high school 1080N cannot hire middle school. So I guess middle school, it's like a law. You just can't do that. I'm not sure. Uh, what are you doing? What you doing? Yeah, last chance to buy. No, that's a scam. That's a marketing scam. Big sale, my ass. Buy now or never. Ain't no way. She showed up to this place with 2,000 yen in her wallet. Thinking she could buy it. It's no say. Come on. Uh-oh. Rich kids. We can't afford it today. But if we come back tomorrow, maybe the price is not gonna be- What are you thinking, you dumbass? The price ain't gonna change. You ain't gonna have more money tomorrow. Steal it. Take it now, Ichinose. Take what's yours. Last chance, that's right. Yoink. Oh my gosh, she's fucking- Listen to the breathing. <sighs> Take it. Take it. For a little sister, that's right. Yoink. There's no alarm? There's, there's nothing? Like, it's just put on a display like this? One of the most prized possessions? <laughs> the last one? <laughs> no cards? It's just... Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Yeet! Lies. I don't... Uh, my perspective, my opinion on Ichinose has not changed. In fact, I think this makes her more human. I think she's still an incredibly kind, almost perfect person. This shoplifting, it's trivial at the end of the day. If you listen, if you think about the context behind it, her mom literally fucking passed out, dude, taking extra shifts so she could get a fucking birthday gift for her little sister, dude. I don't care. I don't, uh, shoplifting bad. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, shoplifting bad. But I don't think this demonizes her. I don't think so. Aww. But what does this lead into? Does she keep stealing? Hmm. We're getting to learn more about Ichinose's defect, huh? Where did you get the clip? Mom knows how expensive that clip is. We didn't think about this. Now mom is gonna say, where did you get the money, Ichinose? Hmm. Oh, oh, she- Oh, that's a slap! It sucks, right? It sucks, but she's trying to be a good parent. She's obviously a good mom. She's trying her best to raise these kids. And if each of they start stealing, yes, the context matters, but I don't think this is like an L mom, you know? She's trying to do her best. She cares about her. This situation just sucks. It sucks for the little sister the most, dude! Dude, are you serious? The little sister has to fucking listen to this in the... Ugh. She probably still has the fucking clip, dude. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, you see this shit? Yeah. Hey, little sister. You see this shit? This is all because of you. Blood is on your hands. Oh, damn. We actually went all the way back? But if it was that simple, then the story wouldn't continue. What did she do after this? Hmm? Holy shit, mom. I, oh. I guess in Japanese culture, like shoplifting could be considered like a like a real like like a, like a, like a important crime. But like, it's just it's not just shoplifting. But she didn't commit a fucking murder. She's not fucking trafficking drugs. She, she's not trafficking children. Like it's just shoplifting. But like she's treating it like her daughter is dead. Like Mahona Michino is different now. Uh oh. Okay. What is rebuking? Sorry. What the fuck does rebuking mean? Rebuking is expressing sharp disapproval or criticism. She's basically just kind of like in like atonement phase. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Did she, did she write on the own rice? You're not my daughter anymore. My daughter would never shoplift. No, no, no. no, no, no. Hold on. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Hmm? Don't give up on high school. Mom cares, see? Mom ca <laughs> Imagine the no of kill. Get relax! Mom would not say that! Okay, but... It seems like she's corrected her behavior? Or what happens afterwards? Jesus Christ.
Goddamn cameraman. Fresh start by doing a Ponzi crypto scheme. Okay? But this isn't enough to explain what's going on. Are you telling me that the basis of these rumors are based on, like, her fucking middle school shoplift that one time? Ichinose is a convicted criminal! She stole that hair clip! 32,000 yen! She is the devil! That's Arisu's great plan? I ain't gonna lie. That's fucking dumb. This is fucking stupid. You know what's gonna be even more stupid? If her own classmates say, No! I don't trust you anymore! You're not my leader! If they turn on her because of this story after... Remember, context is what matters. Context is what fucking matters here. She explained why she shoplifted. But you're telling me they might betray her because of this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. They got her back, they got her back. Here we go. See? It's no such fanboy and, you know, other K. She, you know, they, they approve of us. The fuck is Arisu gonna do now, though? Let's go B class. Let's go B class. <laughs> She has lived a good shop. I can't take this seriously. I really can't. I guess it's because I'm a fucking degenerate North American where shoplifting is so common. It's, it doesn't even... It's like fucking... It's like fucking pirating anime. It's like fucking pirating music. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. But it's like... Shoplifting is shoplifting. You kill someone. So... Now what though, Arisu? Now what? Not a big deal! What else did you do? Is she still talking about this shoplifting? Okay. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that look from Arisu? She just realized. She just realized that Ichinose's speech right now is too fucking good. Look, 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 look. That nod of disapproval, she was like, fuck. Fuck, she's about to use the sentiment right now and just pivot this entire thing. She's getting victimized. Sorry, she is. She's getting like persecuted and she's like being antagonized. But then she, each note is so smart that her speech exactly. Her speech level is level one hundred, and the exciting soundtrack is the triumphant soundtrack is playing right now. So she's able to pivot this entire situation of sympathy back onto the leadership. Look at this nod. He's like, ah, fuck, ah, fuck. I thought you might wanna. Change classes to Aina Koji's, but we'll forget about that. To the very end! Yo, isn't that what Sudo said with two Susume? To the very end! Your plan failed! In fact, I would say that Arisu's like plot here just united the class B even more through this fucking like bonding. Is this part of your plan? Now what? <laughs> it's shoplifting! <laughs> oh, it's gonna spread! <laughs> Nagumo! And the teach? Mashima and the horny teachers here. What the fuck? Nagumo interfering? Because Nagumo, each no says Nagumo's plaything. Nagumo's gonna clutch right now. Oh shit. Yo, Gilgamesh is about to help us out. <laughs> You're a little late there, buddy, but okay. Yeah, my god. <laughs> We've been aware that Hondo likes fat girls. What's going on here? That actually matters? Okay. School of morality? Punished how? Did she mean to get the teacher's attention? My business here is finished. If the school's gotten involved. Is this our ultimate tactic to get Yamagot expelled? Because if Yamaga, if the assumption that Yamagot was the one spreading the rumors and he's a fucking idiot, he'll continue doing it. The teachers are now saying like, you know, it's just going to get real. Was well, Arisu's all intricate plan right here? We're all just tools to get Yamagot expelled? <laughs> no shot. No shot. Interesting. Rumors are bad. Just don't get caught. That look, the side eye. <laughs> Fucking EK was in that scene. <laughs> EK <laughs> made it into the scene where the queen, the the genuine genius, right? <laughs> Looking at the the fake genius. <laughs> and then EK's also there. 
<laughs> this is all according to EK's plan. Sasuga EK sama. Ayano Koji kun. He was but he, he self sabotaged. Okay, but why? Why? No, I thought the whole point of the rice porridge was to fucking, you know, literally like get more six so that she like collapses and they ask for help, but. So it was Anakuchi that. Yeah. What was in the rice porridge? Why don't you say anything to me? Every day isn't going to Ichinose's place. Repent. Shame. Shame. So every day he was just trying to guilt trip her to make Ichinose confess? This is so confusing. I don't know Koji's plan was this the entire time to get Ichinose. But it's not just that. It's not just Ichinose confessing. It's the fact that the teachers are also aware. What does that imply? What does it imply that the teachers are now aware of this and they're going to do something? This is Arisu and Ayano Koji's entire plan? What? Ooh, shoplifting. It's not that big a deal! <laughs> She's actually cracking! This matters! <laughs> now what? Koji, you made her confess, now what? Isn't this all according to his plan though? The, the way that he uses his tools to break them down. He always breaks them down. Susan got broken down through Muddy Kita, right? Fucking K got broken down through fucking just manipulation and waterboarding. Each nose is getting broken down right now too, and then? What should she do? Confess in front of everybody. That's it? Damn. She is bawling her eyes out, dude. The guilt must be insane. Yeah. This is fucked. This is fucked. Yeah! Dude, what the fuck? Season 1, Susanne Fever. Season 2, K waterboarded and bullied. Remember, we let her get bullied even more. Season 3, Ichinose broken down in her own fucking apartment. <laughs> Dove sociopath. Giga chat. Giga chat and chat. Yeah, exactly. That's our Ayana Koji. Mm -hmm. The fucking Rizzler, dude. <laughs> This is fucked, dude. Oh, so it's all better now. That's bitch. I should have known. She did shoplift the beer. The beer. <laughs> what? Inspection scene mattered. She kept the fucking shoplifted beer all this time so that she could use this in season three. Oh my god, they were planning, dude. They were fucking scheming. This is, like, this is just like kind of comically hilarious now more than like what a crazy mind game <laughs> Beer came from you Sakayanagi, that's right Okay Haha, <laughs> is he taking this personally? Hey yo Interested in me. I thought you're too busy trying to crush Aris uh Ichinose Arisu. I thought you said, Oh, I told you I would crush you first, but first I gotta take Ichinose. She never mattered? She never mattered? The trailer fucking baited me? I Ichinose was a fucking tool at the end of the day. It never mattered!
She did this entire thing just to get Koji's attention. Oh my god, this show keeps fucking dunking me. Everything I believe is just not a reality, dude. Every time I question my, like, everything I believe in, nothing is true anymore, man. For what? Yeah? Competition, expulsion on the line. Hmm. Would that be such a big deal? He is just trying to live, you know, just casual high school life, you know, away from his dad here. I guess that would kind of disrupt his peace. What's the bet? Just test scores? That's it? She's just fucking around. She's actually just bored. Everybody, like, this is insane because now, if you think about it from the perspective of season one of Ryuan saying like, hmm, each no say. Sorry, what, what did Ryun say? Ryun says like, hmm, you don't matter. Ichinose doesn't matter. Sakai Anagi doesn't matter. I will crush them all. But like at that point, Ichinose is better than Ryun in my opinion. And the fact that Alice doesn't even see Ichinose as like a, like a playable character. <laughs> like, like, they were all just clowns in perspective of what we're like learning right now. Like, you can't even compare Arisu with, like, these season 1 goons, season 2 goons. None of them fucking matter. Holy shit. She was just bored, man. We were all just tools. Kiyotaka. Ayano Koji. <laughs> and then hangs up again. <laughs> Kushida. Oh. Get your real face out. Come on, we're in privacy here. Come on. She's. But you're trying to get her expelled, but she's. Ah! <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I have a firm grasp on this show, and I kind of I can like anticipate what other characters are gonna do. But most of the times, I get hit in the back of the head with the fucking steel chair, and nothing I know is true. So Anokoji got information from Kushida. <laughs> Vice Prez! Vice Prez! To save each no say you will spread these rumors from your Vice Prez. Is the Vice Prez even a fucking double agent? I can't trust anyone anymore, dude. No, I, I, I straight up cannot trust anyone anymore. You told me that Kamuro was a fucking, you know, you know, Kamuro was like, you know, betraying Arisu to help us out. Cap! Apparently he's part of Nagabu squad, but he's apparently actually, you know, working for Manabu and it's a double agent. Cap! I don't fucking know, dude! Yeah, spread these rumors to save each Maybe that's the plan. Oh. Nagamo had to step in because of that. Well, I like the soundtrack right now. Oh, this is a new soundtrack! <laughs> Not Manabu! Don't tell Manabu that! Do we now? Did we just get his number? <laughs> I guess we did. From now on, I'll be giving half of any point. What? She gets 50% of the cut just for this? From now on? Well, I mean, if you get this bitch expelled, it doesn't really matter, but she gets 50%? Oh, well, I can't really trust her, though. No, 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 no. I can't trust her. Everything she says is cap. Just because you said, I'll let Baga. Remember the deal we made? It said that if Susan beat Kushida in math, right, that special exam, right, that she would just stop being so fucking evil. But she was like, no, I'm still gonna fucking make you expel. But like, now we're saying, all right, if he, she gets 50% of the cut, she will kind of look over it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, he is. <laughs> You're so smart, Aida Kojikun. Not like that bitch, Susan. Okay. Really? It was just incidental? What is it? Ichinose is true bus size. What is it? Oh, I see. He's testing how useful she can be. I mean... <laughs> We're still gonna try to get her expelled though, yeah? Oh, it's no Sayana Koji. What's up? You're pretty cool. Yeah. 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 
Just embrace it and move on. I guess she really had that guilt, you know? Whenever you do something so shitty like that, well, it's just shoplifting, but again, context matters, Japanese culture and whatnot, right? It's about the honor. So I guess that guilt really was just like deep-rooted and just she felt like she couldn't get it out. But now, Koji pretty much has released her. How did she really, how did he release her guilt? By fucking breaking her heart? I'll be there for you. <laughs> I'll be there for you. <laughs> Come on, blush. Blush. Hmm. <laughs> there is the social game! Is this really that awkward? She blushed. Ichinose cracked. Ichinose cracked. That's right. The sociopath Riz, dude, in season one, if in the context of the light novel, bro has no social game. He doesn't know how to approach girls. He fucking sucks with girls. He wishes that he was Hirata. But in season three right now, yo, even in like the earlier mountain arc, the way that he kind of manipulated the cane to thinking, you remember what Kay said? Like, why did you do that? Somebody could have, you know, found us out, found us out. And she goes like, nah, I knew that you could do it. And she's like, oh, <laughs> you know, he's getting good at this. Uh, yeah. So. Dosta. Valentine's chocolate, late one. Late Valentine's chocolate. What is it? Late Valentine's? It's snowing. What is it? Huh? Late Valentine's chocolate! And she's blushing. Bro. <laughs> I can't believe he's getting away with this. I, I cannot believe he's getting away with this right now. He just completely destroyed her for her own better. Yeah, I understand that. He, he did break her down so that she could move forward. But like, how is he doing this? I wonder what light novel Koji's thinking. He's like, oh my God, a hot girl like that. Give me chocolate. This is amazing. Yo, I'm getting pretty good at this. Oh my God. How are you going to give me this like happy little post credit scene despite what we did to her this episode? And ladies and gentlemen... That's the episode. And I thought that the Yamaga stuff might continue for a little bit more, but I guess not. Some of the things that really interest me right off the bat was, again, Albert and this dude. Yo, whenever a guy goes like this in anime with the glove, this guy can probably fight, right? This guy's probably fucking cracked. And ain't no way. This is a high school student, dude. This dude literally looks older than fucking Mr. Mashima, dude. That A class teacher. Ain't no way you're telling me Albert here and fucking green hair dude are high school students no this is not high school of the elite this is the high school of the fucking 30 year olds now the whole thing with b class like and the drama arisu's like trump card he knows he's a criminal i can't believe at the end of the day it was just oh she shoplifted not only just shoplifted she did it for her little sister's birthday gift because her mother took extra shifts because we're so goddamn poor and she just wanted to make her happy and even with that context you thought that this is a trump card and against japanese culture it's more about the honor right the shoplifting might not be a big deal in the western side of the world but in japan probably is a kind of a big deal right it's like you tarnish your honor right it's a huge deal and she had that guilt that was really buried in but b class proving that they are possibly one of the best people in the school like pretty much this school is just ran by a bunch of fucking sociopaths and a bunch of fucking weirdos but b class has been refreshingly nice right we got kanzaki here that got a little bit more lines we also have you know b class k i can't believe that their 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 hair is identical even the way she speaks is identical b class are normies though they are B stands for the best class, maybe, but at the same time, this show, I enjoy the sociopath, you know? I enjoy the fucking weirdo. So, them being normies might be a little bit boring in terms of content, right? I like to see a little bit more of Kanzaki. The flashback is so sad. Just typical, like, poor parents trying to hide how poor they are by working extra for the kids. It's just so sad. And then, if you have to shoplift, the blood is on your hands, little Ichinose. You deserve this. I hope you're still fucking crying. I'm kidding. I'm just being fucking mean. But, I just, something about the shop lifting made this whole flashback just kind of ridiculous and funny but still they embraced her and in fact everything worked out according to arisu's plan so arisu never was actually thinking about crushing ichinose that shit didn't matter the shit that she said in the trailer saying oh i said that i crush you but first i'm gonna crush ichinose first that was cap 
It was all cap to lay down some type of some, some, some type of framework, maybe getting the teachers involved with the rumors things is important for the future, but more importantly, it's to get Ayano Koji's interest. I don't know. It's just so fucking ridiculous. I just felt like there's so many plot twists that happened this episode that I would never even think about. The fact that even her, she fucking, she was not, she was a double agent. The beer can was fucking fake, dude. What the fuck? And she reveals, hey, Ichino say didn't matter. She doesn't matter. I'm so bored with my life at school. Everything is too easy. But finally, someone worthy of my genius has shown up. You, the fake genius in the white room. The fact that Kushida was working with Koji from behind the scenes and the fact that the vice prez was the one that spread the rumors on behalf of Koji. So many different things just happening behind the scenes that I would have never fucking guessed, but that's why I love this show. It's very hard to predict. Sometimes I could be right. Most of the times I'm wrong. And those moments lead to great content, in my opinion. We're finally done with this each no say little arc, which has been pretty actually fun, honestly. I think Yamagod carried a lot. Wonder what we're gonna do with Kushida moving forward, right? Because it sounds like he wanted to test her informant skills, but at the same time, he still hasn't really given up, right? He hasn't given on the fa up on the fact that he wants to get her expelled, right? He did declare to Ryuin that as soon as we got to like, we will reach class 1C, but then we'll get go back to D class after expelling Kushida. But I just don't know if this is ever gonna happen. And finally. The sociopath Riz, he keeps fucking getting away with it. He keeps treating these girls like trash. <laughs> but he gets all their numbers. <laughs> Late Valentine's chocolate. Let's fucking go. And that's the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.